Greetings, all praise, the King Hail Selassie Aja, Rasafari. Today, discussion is on witchcraft. A lesson attempted before the tempters put the eye in the shackle. So, we must proceed. Names for this ancient practice. Keshef, Kashef, Yidioni, Heret, Magi. The three wise kings were known to be as the Magi, a form of witchcraft to make people believe they were pagan gods as the pagans know themselves to be their own god for they worship themselves satan because when the body is given over to the lusts of the devil it becomes one with wicked in the ancient days the pagan cultures worshipped objects sometimes statues sometimes carvings they became known as their gods these idols and yet they had possess no power even as Abraham had left the land of Babylonia to search for better opportunity as documented in the Keber Nagas he had become a salesman of idols yet did not know of these false gods and sought the real and living God Yehovah. There are people on the earth. In the ancient days, they were known as Epicureans. Perhaps there's many ways to pronounce the word, yet they're pleasure seekers. And they have perfected these arts of witchcraft and search for their own creation made in their image for they seek to make even the creator in their image and so they would reject concepts even of sacrifice to the most high in favor of their own misunderstanding and they seek to replicate that which is natural to take the place of the creator for the creator is the creation and 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 yet the man professes he himself to be God so how would he sell this through this ancient art witchcraft otherwise referred to as occultism because it's a secret art it must be secret because it possesses no power. For if those that were kept from this knowledge, knowledge of nothing, knew, then they would see. And if they saw, They would call, they would call this out, and they would call Lord in. 
I and I seek blessings. The witches seek a curse. For even in cursing others, they have brought curses upon themselves. They are those that attempt to harness and do from willingness evil spirits. And yet, even in the days of the Egyptians, they could not surpass the power of Lord for the rods were cast to the ground and even Aaron's rod swallowed up that of the Pharaoh's magician. The magicians synonymous with those that practice witchcraft. But what other does a witch do than perform magic? Perhaps there being two words is another form of witchcraft as we will discuss in Lord will that language is used for this purpose. There is a need to trick people because when the corruption is at the level currently it could not continue unless people were fooled there are other words for witchcraft sorcery divination some referring to the art of fortune telling or prediction to think that this evil spirit would bring the knowledge of truth to light, a falsehood. The pre-notion of the witch is that the clean appearance is godliness. So one only needs to wash outside of their cup to be accepted into the kingdom and even the Christ said on the inside are full of dead man's bones to ensure the ongoing operations sacrifice is needed these that talk about not willing to sacrifice are doing so indirectly when these wars are conducted for the sole pleasure of a few there are human lives that are lost and that is the form of sacrifice to sell the lie for witchcraft is none other than this deception a falsehood smoke and mirrors some say because when you have mirrors about you can project the view from varying angles and in doing so you fool the audience into believing your view your story story your angle the models the superstars who are these people? They are a product of the machine.
to make people look up to the star and yet how were they groomed how were they presented extraordinary even when people are talked about sometimes it's made to seem as if they're in trouble someone's pointing their finger they've done something wrong and yet look how the attention is given to them so they have the opportunity to justify those actions and then people move on the exercises that are happening today these are sophisticated operations no. they're meant to leave an effect on their intended target most often that effect is psychological because what have we other than our thoughts is it not our thoughts that make up who we are so oftentimes the masters of this art will flood information to confuse or to overwhelm an audience and then they will come with the simple message that the audience can take again using language certain words have certain impressions on certain people and those words are used in certain circumstances to have certain effects today people are so confused because they're looking at a screen they're hearing a sound they're putting them together and they're making these associations it's a kind of branding this branding is just as the branding in the old days on the farm with the cow you put an impression this impression goes into people's minds this art is known as witchcraft because even as these videos may not have many views so they're branded as not being worth watching because people believe that if there are views that means it's worthy this is another form of witchcraft there's no truth that exists in this it's entirely solely up to the company which is part of a network which will be difficult to put all the pieces together to trace the exact roots because of the structure but this structure results in production production of facilities institutions monuments these physical objects become the gods the idols even intangible as an institution having property assets though in the form of buildings and oftentimes those buildings will replicate what those institutions seek which is fear they seek for others to be afraid of them because is that not what God is God is the Almighty that all shall shall fear shall fear and yet in this way where they have attempted to imitate that which they could not create they do so by making the appearance of this 
magnitude. To breathe fire on down on the populations. Do not choose to obey in their witchcraft. Do not. live by deception. There are many accounts in the scripture of this practice starting in Deuteronomy 18 10. There shall not be found among you that makes his son or daughter to pass through the fire that uses divination, an observer of times, an enchanter or a witch, a charmer, a consulter with familiar spirits, a wizard or a neocromancer. You have Reuben in Genesis 30, 14, finding the mandrakes. The Jacob's rods in Genesis 30, 37. And 31, 19, the story of the terrapin. In Exodus chapter 7, the pharaohs called a wise man and the sorcerers, the magicians of Egypt, to cast the rods before the ser serpents. And... As stated, Aaron's rod prevails. In 722, the waters turned to blood. Yet the magicians had no power over the gnats. In chapter 8, the magicians bring up the frogs. And in 22, it states, You shall not suffer a witch to live. And verse 18, Leviticus 19.26, you shall not make any enchantments. And Leviticus 19.31, regard not familiar spirits, neither seek wizards. And 26, the soul that turns away is cut. And in 2027, the wizards are put to death. In Numbers chapter 22.7, Elders of Moab and the elders of Midian departed with the rewards of divination in their hand as they came to Balaam. And 23.23 Surely no enchantment against Jacob, neither any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and Israel. In 24, Balaam stops uh, practicing. In the book of Joshua, chapter 13, 22. Balaam, also son of Beor the soothsayer, did the children of Israel slay with the sword. And in Sam, 1 Samuel chapter 15, 23, rebellion for the sin of witchcraft. Uh, the same book, chapter 28, 3, Saul had put out familiar spirits and wizards. In chapter 28, 5, Saul is afraid of the Philistines and therefore Lord answers not and in verse 7 Saul seeks the woman known as the witch of Endor with familiar spirits to bring up Samuel in 28 11 Samuel tells of kingdom 
given to David. In the second book of Kings, chapter 21, 6, King Manasseh, also in the second Chronicle 33, 6, and in King Manasseh had made his son pass through the fire and observed times and used enchantments and dealt with familiar spirits and wizards. He wrought much wickedness in the sight of Lord to provoke, to provoke. And 23:24, familiar spirits, wizards, images, idols, Josiah puts away the king in the book of Daniel Chapter 120. All, in all manners of wisdom and understanding, the king inquires of them. He found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers in all his realm. This was Daniel. And chapter 2, verse 2. The king, Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, commanded to call the magicians and the astrologers and sorcerers and Chaldeans for to show the king his dreams. In verse 10, the Chaldeans answered before the king and said, There is not a man upon the earth that can show the king's matter. Therefore, no king, lord, or ruler asks such things at any magician, astrologer, or Chaldean. And in verse 27, Daniel answered in the presence of king and said, The secret which king has demanded cannot the wise, the astrologers, magicians, and soothsayers show the king. We know the king sought someone to interpret his dreams in which all his master magicians could not. In chapter 4, verse 7, Then came the magicians, astrologers, and Chaldeans, and soothsayers. And I told the dream before them, yet they did not make known unto me the interpretation thereof. And in verse 9, O Belteshazzar, the master of magicians, because I know that the spirit of the holy gods in you, and no secret troubles you, tell me the visions of my dream that I have seen and the interpretation thereof. This is Nebuchadnezzar pleading. In chapter 5, verse 11, There is a man in your kingdom in whom the spirit of holy gods and in the days of your father light and understand and wisdom like the wisdom of the gods was found in him, whom the king Nebuchadnezzar your father the king, your father, made master of magicians, astrologers, Chaldeans, and soothsayers. Yes, for as much as an excellent spirit and knowledge and overstanding interpreting of dreams and showing of hard sentences, dissolving of doubts, were found in the same Daniel. In the book of Isaiah, Chapter 2, verse 6. Therefore, 
you have forsaken your people, the house of Jacob, because they are replenished from the east, and soothsayers like the Philistines, they please themselves and the children of strangers. In chapter 8, verse 19, when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirits, and unto wizards that peep, and that mutter, should not a people seek unto their God for the living to the dead? Yes, to I law and I testimony, if they speak not according to I word, because no light is in them. Chapter 19, verse 3. The spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. I will destroy the counsels thereof. They shall seek to idols, to charmers, to them that have familiar spirits, to wizards. In 29, verse 4. You shall be brought down, shall speak out of the ground. Your speech shall be low in the dust. Your voice shall be as of one that has a familiar spirit out of the ground. Your speech shall whisper out of the dust. In 40, verse 25. That frustrates the tokens of liars and makes diviners mad that turns wise backwards and makes their knowledge foolish only Lord and 47 for you has trusted in a 47 9 these two shall come to you in a moment in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon you in their perfection for the multitude of your sor sorceries, for the great abundance of your enchantments. For you has trusted in your wickedness, you have said, none sees me. Your wisdom and your knowledge, it has perverted you. You has said in your heart, I, and none else besides. Therefore shall evil come upon you. You shall not know from where it rises, and mischief shall fall upon you. You shall not be able to put it off. Desolation shall come upon you suddenly. You shall not know. Stand now with your enchantments, with the multitude of your sorceries, wherein you has labored from your youth. If so be, you shall be able to profit. If so be, you may prevail. You are wearied in the multitude of your counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save you. From that shall come upon you. Behold, they shall be as stubble, the fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame, a coal to warm at, fire to sit before. And in chapter 57, Draw near here, you son of the sorceress, the seed of the adulterer, and the whore. Against whom do you sport yourselves? Against whom do you make a wide mouth? Draw out the tongue. Are you not a children of transgression, a seed of falsehood? inflaming yourselves with idols under every green tree, slaying the children in the valleys under the cliffs of the rocks. Yes, Jeremiah, chapter 
chapter 14. Verse 14. Then Lord said unto I, The prophet's prophecy lies in I name. I send them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spoke unto them. They prophecy unto you a false vision and divination, and a thing of naught, the deceit of their heart. Yes, in 27.9. Therefore hearken not you to your prophets, nor to your diviners, nor to your dreamers, nor to your enchanters, nor to your sorcerers, which speak unto you, saying, You shall not serve the king of Babylon, is because even this thing had become true when the children were taken into captivity. And yet, the children must be free. In 29.8, For thus says, Lord of hosts, God of Israel, let not your prophets and your diviners that in the midst of you deceive you, Neither hearken to your dreams, which you cause to be dreamed. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 13. Verse 6. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, Lord says, and Lord has not sent them. They have made to hope that they would confirm the word. In chapter 21, the king throws down arrows. Having believed in the power, Babylon stood at the parting of the way at the head of two ways to use divination making arrows bright, consulting with images, he looked into the liver. At his right hand was the divination for Jerusalem. It shall be unto them as a false divination in their sight, to them that have sworn oaths. Babylon gives their allegiance to the false god. The false god. And this being in the form of their flag. That which they stand for. And the same chapter Nebuchadnezzar is divining of the teraphim. Even Rachel had hidden. In Micah chapter 3 verse 7 Then shall the seers be ashamed, and diviners confounded. Yes, they shall all cover their lips for no answer of... I weigh! In 
chapter 5, verse 12. I will cut off witchcrafts out of your hand. You shall have no soothsayers. book of Nahum, chapter 3, because of the multitude of whoredom in the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcraft that sells nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts, a great number of carcasses. The sacrifice of the innocent to fulfill their pleasure. In the book of Malachi chapter 3 Verse 5, I will come near to you to judgment. I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, against the adulterers, against false swearers, against those that oppress the hireling, the widow, the fatherless, and that turn aside the stranger, and fear not. I and Zechariah chapter 10 verse 2 for the idols have spoken vanity the diviners have seen a lie have told false dreams they comfort in vain Therefore, they went their way as a flock. They were troubled because no shepherd. Even in the book of Enoch, the descending angels, as we know Lucifer to be, from Isaiah took wives upon the earth as they had looked down and came for this purpose and taught these women enchantments in chapter 7 in chapter 65 speaking of the powers of Satan, sorcery, witchcraft, and idolatry. Because of the sorceries that they have learned, the earth will be destroyed. 